Hey, this is Mike. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I think you will be happy with non-stop automotive information, uh, pretty much daily uploads, and I'm dedicated to giving you information on as many different brands and different models as possible. So, in that light, I'm here at East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they're allowing me to show you this 2015 Honda Cross Tour EXL really interesting vehicle it has a little bit of height off the ground and uh, I'm I like it I like hatchback vehicles and this one has the hatchback so it's a real roomy car it's easy to get in and out in and out of because of the height and um, just overall interesting vehicle so let's go ahead and take a look here it has 17 inch aluminum wheels this, this one has the painted silver aluminum wheels it has four wheel disc brakes with the ventilated brakes there in the front all right let's take a look over here to the, in the front of the vehicle it does have the projector headlights halogen projector headlights with halogen reflector high beams and also those uh, are also the daytime running lights and the projector system projector tubes is like a kind of like a magnifying glass in a way it really has a the ability to focus the light in a particular pattern unlike a reflective headlight uh, this is more of a floodlight that the, the light basically bounces all over the place and floods out but the projector system has a real focus beam and if you're interested in checking out more about that you can see my at night videos they're called at night say a particular vehicle at night and you get to see the lights what they look like inside and out and all that good stuff so anyways you can see in the front is a really classy look with that chrome there in the front and then you have that metallic accent at the bottom and then just underneath the fog lights you have that metallic accent but it just I don't know it just you, you can see for yourself it looks nice all right let's take a look at the profile all right so in here there's the inside of the passenger door you have that metallic accent and then the, the black surrounding plenty of pocket space here on the door power adjustments here on the passenger side is leather interior with some stitching nice bolstering very comfortable look at the leg room got plenty of leg room got that wood grain trim there here in the back seat there's the inside of the back door here in the back seat these seats do fold down which I'll show you in a minute you have some pretty decent leg room here also the seats are pretty good distance off the floor and you have a place to put cup holders there and it also serves as a armrest got some pockets there you got your dome light all right so let's take a look starting to drizzle a little bit on me right now let's take a look at the the back this is glass here by the way so like kind of like the old CRX's all right, so you can see the hatch is, opens up a huge opening, and this one does have the dual exhaust to let that 2.4 liter breathe. So back here, you have this huge opening, plenty of space to put stuff. It does have a cargo mat under here. You have a storage space under here, and under that is your tools. That's like a liner that comes out, and your spare tire, which is a little place, there's the place to lower it, is actually under here, underneath the cover. So you uh, can't actually see it. Do you have a subwoofer back here? Now check it out. Lower the seats, pull that. Drops right down. How convenient is that? Look at that. Look at all that cargo space you have now. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and close it down. Let's take a look under the hood. Check out the 2.4 liter, 192 horsepower, 
engine is hooked up to a uh, five-speed automatic transmission. Oh yeah, that's nice. 2.4 liter. It's got a little plastic over there, but you can still see the engine. And it's got that that bar across the top to help with stabilizing the front end. All right, let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. Really classy looking with the wood grain and the all black and the black leather seats. Got plenty of leg room and knee room. And you also have a place to put your foot down there, your left foot, which is, I always love that. I, I hate cars that don't have that place for your left foot. Especially on a manual transmission, because uh, anyways, let's go ahead and start with the door here, and you can see it has a set, you know similar pockets there as the passenger side. This passes through, so I guess you can't put much in there. That's too small, but down here is a really, really good size pocket there. I mean, it's massive. So you can put a bottle, you know, large water bottle there, and. Um, but anyways, here is your window controls. The front two are automatic. You just push them and they go all the way down. The back, you have to hold it to the, the desired position. And you can lock out all the windows if you want to there. Power door locks are here. And your side mirror controls are right there. You just have to pick a side, right or left, and you put it in the middle to, um, you know, not adjust it, just in case you don't want to mess up your mirrors that you just adjusted. So right here is your presets for your power seat. You can have um, up to two presets, and that way if you have two people driving the vehicle frequently, they can have their own seating position. They just push the button, it goes into that position. They don't have to worry about readjusting it every time. The side mirror has a little distortion there on the end, and I don't know if you can see that. There's also a line to show you where the distortion starts, but that is to uh, help you, it bends the light around, to where you can actually see uh, in your blind spot a little bit more. So that's a good safety feature there. Another safety feature is the lane departure warning system, which will alert you. It keeps an eye on the road. It looks at the lanes, uh, the, the lines on the road. And um, so if you're swerving off into another lane without turning your turn signal on, it will kind of beep at you, let you know, um, give you an alert system there to let you know that you're swerving and you know to avoid hitting other cars and stuff but you can turn that on and off there um, if you're getting false alarms or whatever here is your traction control to turn it off it's default always on but you can turn it off there just in case you need to spin tires um, that's pretty much the only reason like say if you're stuck in the mud or snow you can push that button it'll uh, you know you can that way you have more control over spinning tires and getting it unstuck all right so here is the steering wheel and it has a leather wrap steering wheel with some slight bolsters there it is a real tight quality feeling leather stitched on the inside with the black stitching so here on the right we have the cruise control buttons you just have to make sure you turn it on push that button the cruise control light turns on that green button I mean that green light and then once you have it on you can set it here and you can change your speed and then you can cancel it with that button on the left side you have your volume for your radio tune through the, your stations and your source um, am fm satellite radio that kind of stuff and this button right here is to change the screen right now it's in a clock but it also has a um, a wallpaper feature to where you can actually change that background right now it has like space or whatever stars so i'm going to push that button you can cycle between your your two um, trips uh, computers uh, right there's your audio it tells you what your audio your radio is doing second one is your first trip and it gives your your fuel economy your average fuel economy and all that stuff in real time and this is your second um, history of your trip there and right there is just your clock and your wallpaper so that's that that's what this this button does here now another safety feature is the bluetooth this is a convenience feature is typically is what people refer it to but i think it's a safety feature 
once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, you can answer the call here. If somebody calls you, you don't have to pick up your phone. You just push this button, say hello. Uh, if your radio's on, it'll dim that out for you, so you don't have to worry about taking your hands off the wheel. Uh, this is for hanging up, and then this button is for making calls. So you push that button, you can say, call John Smith or whatever. Whoever happens to be in your phone book, uh, you just have to say it like it's spelled in your phone book. And you can push that button and call them. You can also say the number. You can also say tune to a certain radio station. So it's a little bit more than just a re the phone. Uh, it is also a complete voice recognition system. So back here, we have your, your headlight controls. It does have an automatic feature. And your fog light controls are here. There's your windshield wiper controls there to the right. Now here's your gauges. And you can see it's it's big, easy to read, and kind of stylish with the black background, and then you have like the like a kind of a metallic uh, dials there, I guess you can say, sort of like a watch. But um, so there on the left, you got your temperature, your RPMs, and then it goes over here to the right is your um, speedometer, and then your gas gauge. And you also have your your trips there, which you can push this button. And cycle through it also gives you your outside temperature 95 degrees very hot um, and also it gives you your oil life when it's time to change your oil alrighty so like I showed you on this screen this is you know you can put different information there so um, that's a good screen to have kind of like a heads up type screen down here is telling you what your climate control is doing and um, and so down here I'll show you I'll show you that in a second, but this screen here is just kind of a, this is a touch screen, and you can change through all kinds of different ways of playing music through the sound system. You do have a volume button and a tune through the stations button there, but as far as playing music, you can put in a CD right here. So you got AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, USB, you can play mu music on an iPod through the USB, you have Bluetooth like on, a, on your cell phone, and you have Ban Pandora, which is an internet radio which plays through your cell phone. So lots of different uh, options there. And it also has another screen here for your auxiliary input and AHA, Aha which is another um, internet radio type system. So lots of cool features here in this vehicle. So your climate control is kind of split up here on either side. So you have your driver and passenger temperatures here and here. And then you have, uh, you can sync both of them if you want there. You can turn it on and off. Your fan speed is here your mode basically where you want the air to blow and then on the right side you can turn your recirculate the air um, you can put on automatic and just push that and set the temperature and forget about it front defrosters rear defrosters the rear defroster also turns on your side side mirror defrosters as well so there's the split up and then there's the telling you what you've chosen up there at the top down here we have this little storage pocket there for putting the stuff it's closable and then you have one here that's open all the time and it's pretty good size so let me see if my phone I've got a large phone to see if it fits in there yeah it goes in there pretty good and here's a little pocket putting coins or whatever plus you have this power supply and then you have your heated seat controls for the driver and passenger right here your emergency brake is here so here's your shifter, and putting it in reverse uh, will pop up your backup camera, and you can see the backup camera. You can tell it's kind of it's distorted. It's significantly distorted because it is a wide-angle lens. It tries to give you the most view possible behind you. So in doing that, it distorts the edges. So they put these lines there as guidelines. Um, if you turn the steering wheel, it'll change the direction so you can see which way you're actually going. But also, um, you see that checkered line, that dotted line, that's the absolute closest you want to come to something. Uh, the reason why is because it looks like there's more room, but actually it's only a few inches here. Down here, it's a few feet uh, difference because of that distortion. So it gives you an estimated size of your vehicle. It tells you which way you're going, and also uh, it gives you like an absolute threshold of you know how far away you are from vehicles. Um, all right, so let's continue down. There's neutral. There's drive. That's your just a normal drive position. And then there's third gear, second gear, and first gear. 
So if you need to go down in gears to avoid going too fast down a hill or something like that, uh, you do have the control to cycle through the gears. Another cool feature is on the end of your turn signal is you push that button and this light, this uh, this camera pops up and that is the camera is on the bottom of that side mirror and it, the view is your blind spot there on your right uh, as you're driving so you can actually see uh, there right in your blind spot so you can see it does have those those lines there that red line is you know definitely if there's a car there you do not want to change lanes also um, but you don't have to push the button you can just put your turn your turn signal on automatically pops up so that's pretty cool and an awesome safety feature. So here's your cup holders. They have these little things that go in and out to help pick up the slack for different size cups. So here's your center armrest. It has like some cool stitching there and it lifts up and you have this tray, this removable tray and then you have um, some storage space but you also have your uh, 12 volt power supply, your auxiliary input and your USB input. Lots of different ways of playing music through the sound system. All right, glove compartment, pretty standard looking. Um, you know, adequate. Nothing really. Anything that stands out. There's your rearview mirror. It is an auto dim rearview mirror. As you can see, it's auto dimming now because I have this shade over the uh, the light sensor. And up here we have some tap lights. To have a quick reading light. Uh, the interior lights are, they will turn on with the door. So the door, open up the door, interior lights turn on. If you don't want them to turn on when you open up the door, you just put it at the off position. Now, they won't turn on. Alright, so now, um, this is for your sunroof, which I'll show you in a second. Right in here is your microphone for your Bluetooth system. Here is a place to put some sunglasses. And it does have like a felt, or no, like a foam inside for protecting them. Do have lights and mirrors on the visors on both sides. So now it is sunroof time. It does have a shade that you can open up. You can vent the sunroof like that if you want. Or you can open it up all the way. Like so. And if it's a hot day and you just don't want the light shining on you, you can just close it up and it's like it's not even there. All right, let's take a look at the back. Plenty of room with the seats down for, for cargo capacity, that's for sure. And the visibility is pretty good with that uh, extra glass right there below, like the uh, that two pane glass in the back. There you have it, 2015 Honda Cross Tour. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Any clarifications, if you have any experience with a vehicle like this, please leave it in the comments. It really helps other people uh, make a decision. And thank you for watching, and thank you for to East Coast Honda for allowing me to show off this awesome car. Also, um, I do have a friend here. His name is John. I'll leave his contact information in the description. He can deliver a vehicle to you anywhere in the United States. So if you're interested in, a, in a, any vehicle, pretty much any brand, just let him know and he will help you out. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.